ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's my privilege to welcome you on behalf of the Freie Universiteit Amsterdam uh, to this conference on Gulag Legacy, organized by our very own Katja Tolsteyer from our Faculty of Theology, which uh, it will very soon be uh, reborn as the Faculty of Religion and Theology to sort of cover the, the entire scope of, uh, uh, of, of activities that the faculty studies. Our university prides itself on its societal engagement in all of its research and educational activities. To really address the complexity of the real world problems that we face, think about polarization in our world, think about uh, areas such as climate change, about social inequalities. What you realize as a university is that you cannot address these these issues in a monodisciplinary fashion. You have to think about these problems from multiple angles with very different approaches and to work together as a team to try to actually get to the roots of these issues. And Katya's project and INASEC, which, which really looks at the, the uh, at theology after the Gulag, if you will, is very much one such one of these interdisciplinary approaches. And I think it's also very characteristic of the way we at our university think about how we can actually make a difference to the big problems of this time and how we can actually teach, guide, mentor our students to address the issues that they will face in their working lives as they go outside the confines of the university. So if you want to actually open that bubble of, of the university and let the world in, it's usually not in a disciplinary fashion. You need to be rooted in your discipline, but you need to have enough, you need to have the vision to be able to look, as the Dutch say, over the fence, uh, <laughs> over the schutting heen. Uh, there is a, I don't think there's a good English translation for that, uh, for that word, but to be able to look beyond your own boundaries. That's something that we pride ourselves on and that's something that we try very hard to do in our research and educational activities. Now, Professor Moltmann, who is uh, actually who you came to hear, not me, asked me uh, a little bit earlier this morning, he says, well, does the spirit of Abraham Kuyper still live at the Freie Universität? And I, it, I didn't have to hesitate uh, in, in answering uh, with a resounding yes. The manifestation is perhaps different. We have evolved as a university. We were a bastion of the reformed Christian church, the Protestant church, but I think it is also uh, characteristic of our university that the individual who is facing you today comes from the Hindu tradition and that my colleague, the president of the university, comes from the Jewish tradition. This diversity that we have at our, in our executive board represents the diversity at our university, it represents diversity in society, without in any way letting loose the ties and, and, the, and, and the history and the, and the roots of where this university began. So it's something that we cherish, but as you see, we have also grown with the times. The project and this conference is also sponsored by one of our research institutes, Clue Plus, and what we try to do as a, as a university is we have the disciplines in the faculties, but we try to encourage and stimulate the interdisciplinarity in research institute 
And if you look at CLU Plus, which is the Institute for Culture, Cognition, History, and Heritage, there you have uh, colleagues from the humanities, from theology, from social sciences, indeed also from the, the, the what we call the hard sciences, uh, computer science, really trying to work together in terms of uh, trying to address problems which cannot be solved by one approach alone. So, in an increasingly complex and often polarized world, there is a pressing need for such engaged scholarship and socially oriented uh, scholarship. As I said earlier, Katya's project on the Gulag legacy is such an example. There are many, many more. What we try to do is to, is to really stimulate this, 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 this collaboration. I think Heisbert and Katya will tell you a little bit more about the faculty and about the project in, 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 in particular. Let me end by wishing you a very inspiring discussion today and tomorrow, because ultimately we are academics and what really gets our clocks ticking is that intellectual debate and the exchange of information and, 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 and being challenged by new ideas and inspired by each other. And that's what this conference is all about. Thank you.